Hey, what's up guys, John here again. So I just want to do a quick uh, little video today because I've been getting a lot of questions about the electronic fan, the E fan, the V6 fan that I have on my truck, which is a 2014 Ram 1500 with the Hemi. So a lot of people have been asking, you know, how's the cooling, how is it working? Um, because there is a lot of discrepancy and opinions on whether this cooling fan works for our vehicles and whether it's up to par or can actually handle the cooling capacity and the cooling needs of our trucks. So I wanted to make this video just to go over a few things on how my truck is you know, operating so far with that fan. So I know on the other video, if you guys haven't seen it, I did an install video on that fan. So check that out in the other video and maybe I'll link it to, uh, to that video in the comments below. So check the descriptions and I'll, I'll leave that link there. But um, without further ado, basically, the fan that on my truck, I installed it, it's an OEM version. Some people end up going with like uh, an aftermarket version, like a TYC or something. Mine's an actual Denso unit out of the original V6. If you get that fan, you wanna get the nine, 2009 to 2012 because that's the plug that fits our trucks. And by our trucks, I mean 2009 all the way to 2017. Um, and even probably 2018 Ram 1500s with the Hemi in it. So that plug is a direct fit connection. So make sure you get the older fan, older V6 fan for the newer truck. With that being said, I haven't had any cooling issues with my truck. Um, even I decided to try that fan without actually programming my truck, reprogramming it. So I ran it on the stock programming, um, basically a bone stock truck I put the fan on. The only difference being that the electronic fan with the stock uh, programming, it won't turn on into 222 degrees. So that's when you'll see that stock fan kick in on stock programming. Um, I ended up uh, putting a Diablo Sport tuner on there. And just with the stock Diablo Sport canned tune is what they're calling it. So if you put the canned uh, Diablo Sport tuner in your truck, the fans will actually kick on at uh, 200, around 205 degrees. So the fan will kick on around 205, which is actually where the stock thermostat's set. And then it'll bring it down to around 190 or so before it turns the fan back off. And then, of course, you know, if you're in stop and go traffic or whatnot, your truck will go up to 205 degrees, cool back to 190. But that's just the way that uh, Diablo Sport has it set up in their program. But you can have full tuning on that with the Diablo Sport tuner, and I can set my fans wherever I want. So I haven't messed with it. I've just left it at 205. I do have a 180 degree thermostat in here. Um, so I might mess with that a little bit more, but basically that being said, um, biggest thing I noticed is um, I'm in a pretty hot climate down in the south. So we see right now we see sometimes temperatures of uh, over 100 degrees. Um, so basically when I had my AC running full tilt when it was like over 100 degree day in stop and go traffic, with the mechanical fan and the electric fan, the stock one that it comes with. So for those of you who don't know, there's two fans on a stock setup. You have the mechanical and then the little uh, electrical one in front. With those um, those fans, the AC would kind of be kind of be cold, but not uh, nothing to brag about. But when I deleted the mechanical fan and installed the V6 fan on the hottest days, like scorching hot days and stop and go bumper to bumper traffic, my AC is ice cold. So basically what that tells me is that fan is moving enough volume of air to actually cool the condenser and give me cold AC, which obviously would be cooling the radiator at the same time that's cooling the engine. So that's my take on that stuff. And I haven't had a huge load on the back of this thing, but I mean, I've been in scorching hot heat, bumper to bumper traffic, and that fan, when it comes on, it'll run for maybe, maybe 10, 15 seconds. I mean, it's obviously gonna depend, but It'll come on, it'll kick on, and you'll see your temperatures drop immediately. It doesn't matter how hot it is outside. You'll see the temperatures drop, the fan will turn off, and then as soon as the fan turns off, you'll see the temperatures come up a little bit. But that fan, when it kicks in, it friggin' sucks some serious air, and it cools the engine like like, like it should, all right? So uh, I'm not lying there. Um, like I said, full disclosure, I have nothing to sell you guys. I'm just kind of giving you my comments on that stuff. But I do want to talk about this thing is... Everyone's worried about whether you can tow or have the same towing capacity with an electronic fan. Everyone says, oh, you need the mechanical fan and you know your truck's gonna overheat if you put a big payload on the back. Well, here's something I wanna show you guys. So here is the 2019 Ram, and this is basically a picture of the engine bay, and as you guys can see, it does not have a mechanical fan anymore. It actually has a electric fan, so no more mechanical fan here's actually a shot of the front of the engine and the front of the engine as you can see on the water pump or any of those pulleys it doesn't have a spout 
for an, uh, a mechanical fan to attach. So it doesn't have a spout for the clutch, for the mechanical fan, nothing. So, and here's actually an excerpt from the specs on the 2019 and it says that they have replaced the mechanical fan with a 100% electrical fan and it says it's an 850 watt fan and they said they did this to both uh, eliminate the parasitic drag that would be on the engine so just that constant drag of that fan spinning and they also said they did it for noise so for those of you guys that probably have these trucks one of the big pet peeves I had with this thing is when you start the truck um, it doesn't seem no matter what condition but you start the truck and you hear this big roaring noise that comes out of your truck as that fan starts spinning for no reason even on a hot day if your truck's cold the engine's cold you'll start it and you'll hear a big roar come out of your truck so um, that was one of the things I didn't like about that and now with uh, that being eliminated and I've deleted that fan I don't get that roaring uh, annoying noise out of my truck anymore which I prefer and I actually like it but the other thing too is people are asking about miles per gallon and um, you know just feel the truck so I'll also I also want to put another link in the description below here's um if you check out this link basically Motor Trend did a dyno test on mechanical fans on the front of an engine some of them are robbing up to 20 horsepower of the engine so basically when you get rid of that it's like a propeller if you think of like you know an engine and you know an airplane with a big propeller at the front it takes a lot of resistance and a lot of you know parasitic drag to get rid of that uh, or to spin that fan so that uh, test that Motor Trend did they basically dyno tested a bunch of different fans and they found you know which fan robbed the most power but no matter what they did when they bolted a fan to the front of the engines it would actually eat up power and horsepower so I felt a, no a noticeable difference in just driving the truck it seemed to be a little bit more responsive a little more peppy and I do think I actually probably gained maybe one one or so miles per gallon. I'm not going to say, you know, you're going to go up five miles per gallon, but there is a, a gain to be had there. It's no different than if you guys think about it, um, some of you guys might know if you run your truck with the AC um, always turned on, it'll actually use more gas than if you have the AC turned off. Same idea, basically, when uh, the AC compressor is engaged and turned on, there's a drag on the engine that actually, you know, takes a bit of energy to turn. So um, that's another thing that's similar to this where eliminating that fan basically, you can free up a little bit of extra horsepower or not extra, but free up horsepower that you already had and not lose it to, to losses like that. But um, that's my take on it. I haven't had any issues. 2019 Ram is going all electric. So I just want to point that out to you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll be sure to answer them. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more. And check out some of the other videos I have because I've been doing a lot of different mods with the truck. And there's going to be more mods to come. So subscribe. Take care. We'll see you on the next video.